In this video, I'll show you how to cut out parts of a video without re-encoding. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you're watching this video from. So for this process, we're going to be using lossless cut and I've already covered how you can download lossless cut for free. I've also covered how you can merge multiple clips into one without losing quality or even re-encoding that particular video. So let's open up lossless cut and this is inside windows. Uh, it's also available for Mac, I believe. Uh, so you can check out uh, from the links below. I believe I'll leave a link to Lossless Cut. So here's Lossless Cut. And uh, the reason why you may need to do this is because you don't want to go through the process of rendering a video or different parts of a video. You just want to quickly cut out uh, the parts that you don't want and leave the parts that you want, uh, especially if you're working with a lot of footage and want to just go or scrub through the timeline and all that and just do something really quick. So we'll just drag our video here and there's our video and this file has embedded chapters. Do you want to import the chapters at cut, as cut segments? No, I don't want to do that, uh, but let's say ignore chapters. And for this particular section, we can just maximize uh, so that we can see what we're going to do. So this is our section and this is what it looks like. So uh, let's assume we want uh, to cut from some point around here. What you need to do is just click on that point and you'll see some sort of line appear and then click on this particular pointing finger to set the in point. And once you do that, the section that is to the left of that particular in point you've set has a delete or a dustbin icon. That means that that part is going to be deleted. If we select another section here and click on the set the cut end to current position, then we're going to have this as one segment. Now, if you click inside here and then select an in point and then click somewhere like here, select an out point. So you now have a dustbin, a dustbin, and we're going to keep this, keep this, delete this, but then we can create another in point, another out point there, and then create another one here and then another one somewhere here. So let's assume you wanted to cut out the first part, this part, this part, this part, and this part, and have the different segments available for you to work with, which you can merge later on without re-encoding. And I do have a tutorial on that. So let's say that's all we wanted to do. So we want to keep this part, second one, third one, the fourth one. And once you do actually this particular uh, process, you'll see all the segments available right here. So we can click on export to export the four segments. And then uh, you can see the following merge four cut segments into one. If that is what you wanted to do, yes, you can do that. But let's assume you wanted separate files. But if you click on that merge cut segments, merge and separate. So you can have a merged file and separate files really depends on what you want. But let's say we want separate files output containers and mp4 input has three tracks keep two tracks that's okay and then the output folder and then the output name really doesn't matter to me uh well and what type of cut mode are you using if you click on keyframe cut it changes to normal cut but you'll see that uh, it's recommended uh, for most common files so we'll just keep that i won't change anything else here for this uh, for the purposes of this particular tutorial so let's just now uh, export our segments as individual videos. So export, it's going, it's done. So if we look at our folder, we now have four new segments and are done. Note, cut points may be inaccurate. Make sure you test the output files in your desired player or editor before you delete the source. If output does not look right, see our help page. Unprocessable streams were exported as separate files. So those are things that you need to know but I believe it's done a good job. Uh, let's close. And then if we just double click on one segment, the add to playlist and the so yeah, it's playing the way it should. Uh, if we just scroll, the quality is still the same, no change. So we have the four segments as individual segments. So we cut out, if I just maximize this, we cut out the parts that we do not want and we do not have to go through the lengthy and tiresome process of rendering or encoding the particular video that we wanted from this particular segment. 
is just a couple of few steps and just exporting. So that is how you can cut out parts and merge the freshly created video into one or leave it as se separate segments without re-encoding or having to render the video. That's it from me. My name is David. I hope this video tutorial has been of value to you. Thanks for watching.